First, shout out to the person that parked beside me today at work. I see what you did there. So this video was born from hearing something slam up under my truck. No idea what it was, but when I checked around and underneath, I noticed two things. One, a possible leak coming from somewhere. We'll address that later. And then grease coming out of the upper ball joint, which was a little bit concerning. So we popped off the wheel just to peek around and decided to change the ball joint, which turned into changing both ball joints since the other was also cracked and leaking grease about as bad. And while we're in there, might as well change the shocks, right? Now, while I'm showing you where we jacked this up at, just a quick tip. We had to call around to find the parts at the usual auto parts stores, AutoZone, Advanced Auto, Riley's, Napa. But I later found the parts half as much on rockauto.com. Same parts, half as much. You do have to pay for shipping, but on a job like this where you're changing out multiple parts, you will save a lot of money. So keep that in mind. And for example, here's the upper ball joint on Rock Auto for six bucks. I'm pretty sure this is the same one that Advanced Auto sold me for $25. So we'll post the timestamps at the front of the video and here also, that way if you want to jump around. We did start off here with the shock on the driver's side. And you got it like a little nut on top. While I was hunting down parts at the auto parts stores, he had already removed the ball joint from this side, but I'll show the other side with the part coming off and going in so you'll kind of see the full process. And again, time stamps if you want to skip ahead. So what's that, that rubber thing that's right under that? Is that the put tension on that bolt up there or what's that for? Where's that? So the rubber thing is squishing. Uh, that's where uh, when you hit a bump, it's ain't going to rattle like that. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm pretty sure here we're using a 11 16 deep socket to get these bolts off. Two boards come in handy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Ralph. Mm -hmm. Oh, she said. Another thing I like about Rock Auto is they categorize the parts. Here are the daily drivers, and here are the economy, which is where the Monroe Matic Pluses are located. I paid about $45 a shock at the auto parts store. And here on Rock Auto, they're only $16. I'll definitely be picking up the rears from Rock Auto. Now that we have the shock off, let's see how bad it is. There is still some resistance going in and out, but it's not returning to its original length, so yeah, definitely time to replace these. And I'm pretty sure this is the original shock put on by Nissan back in 95. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, most of the time. For bad, you just go. Yeah. That one's not too, too bad. Oh, yeah, it's not too good either. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely won't. Like that. Now we'll move on to the upper ball joint. When taking the other off, it looked okay. Uh, it probably could have worked for a couple thousand more miles, but with the busted boot like that uh, and the leaking of grease, it was only a matter of time. Uh, plus, these new ball joints come with a grease zerk, so that is interesting. The original Nissans did not have grease zerks on them. Huh? <laughs> okay, let's see if this one pulled sideways. Get the whole line up. The next one, I don't remember which way that hole's facing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Thing about it, it turns. It turns. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You get in there? So you're going to have to. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I'm just going to bend it over as I put it in. She ain't going nowhere. Oh, that part don't matter on it.
if you get into that. Won't let her go right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you broke my butt. That's why I tell Larry over See in here, I can get the nuts to play as that. Oh yeah, it's like a it's a regular knot, not castle. Yeah. Okay. Damn, if you don't go to work, get over here. Situations are really kind of all over the place. Hi. I see uh, some different places. Yeah. Check out the tree. It's easier than straining it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there's some new shocks on there. Rebuilding the truck. So that was kind of strange. Advanced Auto sold me two ball joints. Uh, one had a copper top and one had a gold top. Uh, this one with the gold top did not fit. The mounting bracket did not line up or the mounting holes did not line up. Uh, but the part number on the box is the exact same, so very strange. So I had to take that one back, and of course they didn't have any more in stock, so I had to go to a few other places to find one. And while doing all that, he was able to put the shock on this passenger side over here, as you can see. One more thing to mention, on this side we've got a lot more parts taken off than needed to change out a ball joint and a shock. On this side we had a broken stud, so we had to take a lot more parts off just to get that stud installed. And that ended up being the most time consuming part of the day, is just getting that stud put on there. So I did a little bit more voiceover on this side because he does have Post Malone back there blaring, which is hilarious because he didn't even listen to rap. But anyways, one of the main reasons why I want to go ahead and change out these shocks and get new ball joints is I eventually want to get new tires, get an alignment, and get this thing running smooth. Um, you know, since I've had it for the past two years, it's had a little a lot of vibration in the drive. It's not a super, super fun drive, but uh, hopefully getting a few things fixed, getting an alignment, getting new tires, and this thing's going to be a real nice daily driver to get me back and forth to work. A couple things on my to-do list are to address that leak. It looks like it's coming from the gearbox, so I'm going to change out the transmission gear oil in an upcoming video to see if it's low. Then try to pinpoint that leak. It's hard to tell because I had a valve cover leak that got stuff everywhere, so I've been trying to clean up as I go down there and then see where the new leak's coming from. Uh, but then, the, you know, that's, that's one of the top items on my list. Then I noticed a crack in the muffler. Need to figure out the cheapest way to fix that, maybe some JB Weld or something. Uh, but here we're kind of finishing up this ball joint, greasing her up. I think Post Malone's still just bumping back there. But appreciate you stopping by. If you made it this far into the video, please think about subscribing, liking the video. I got future hard body stuff coming up. Also, um, kind of DIY around the house type stuff. So think about subscribing and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks. Yeah.
And here's just a sped up version of putting all the stuff back together from putting that stud on. And now we're getting the wheels on. And again, like I said, thanks for hanging out with us.